everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video that was inspired by this old picture of Kendall Jenner. Um, in the picture she basically has this really nice shimmery brown smoky eye. And I wanted to do another video using these Makeup Geek eyeshadows because I am in love with them. Um, so please keep watching if you want to recreate this. I will put on my Instagram and my website below if you want to follow me on there. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. I just got a Snapchat. I'm going to reply with this shocking face and be like, slaying on a Tuesday. So at this point, I've already put on foundation, concealer and done my eyebrows. Now I'm priming my eyes using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and then popping some concealer under my eyebrows just to highlight. Then going in with Sculpt, which is a pro kind of sculpting contouring powder from MAC on a 221 brush. I'm just putting this through the crease of my eye and then blending it out with a clean 217 brush so there's no harsh edges. Then going in with a shade called Espresso from MAC, I'm taking this on a little Nanchi smudger brush. I'm running this halfway along my bottom lash line and then taking it up and kind of connecting it to the crease shade I've put down. So it's kind of like nice and smoky on the outer corner. Now taking this shade from Makeup Geek, this is in the shade Grandstand. I am just pressing this all over my eyelid up to my crease. I think I'm using a Bobbi Brown brush but you can use any brush, you can even use your finger, just pressing it all over, putting loads of it on and then blending it so there's no harsh edges between this shade and my crease shade. Then taking my Nanchi brush again and the same espresso shade, just kind of making the crease shade a little bit darker. Now taking Teddy, which is an eye pencil from MAC, it's like a nice brown, it's got like a slight kind of goldy shimmer in it. Running this all around my waterline. And then taking that same grandstand colour from Makeup Geek and running it along my lower lash line, more towards the inner corner. And taking this shade, which I'm pretty sure is called Starry Eyed, another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. I'm using this as a highlighter in the inner corner of my eye and then using nylon from MAC just to really make it stand out because in the picture of Kendall she has a really bright eyeshadow in the inner corner of her eye. You can take this and put it on, on your brow bone as well if you want to highlight there. Now I'm just using a transition shade called Soft Brown from MAC just in between the espresso shade and my brows just so that it's like really nicely, softly blended out. Now taking my Shuramura eyelash curler, I'm just curling my lashes. And then taking the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. Just because I'm going to be putting individual eyelashes on, but I just want to put a little bit of mascara on beforehand. And taking that same Teddy eye pencil, I'm running this along my top lash line and then just smudging it out a bit with my finger and then I'm doing the same on the other side and then in a second I go in and I'm just pressing some black eyeshadow really close to my lash line because I want it to be nice and black really close to my lashes. Now taking the individual eyelashes, these are from Salon Services, um, you can use Ardell or Isla, whatever ones you like using mainly medium length ones and then slightly shorter ones towards the inner corner. Curling them again just to give that really wispy Kardashian Jenner lash look. Now I've already put some concealer on but I'm just going over again to pick up and cover up any debris from the eyeshadow. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Now, to contour, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Palette in the shade Light. 
I do normally use a Bobbi Brown foundation stick, but I love the shades that this kit comes in. Because they're really nice and cool, so they make a really nice shadowy effect and they don't look orangey. Taking it all around the halo of my forehead, in my temples, along my jawbone. Jawbone? Yeah, is that the word? Jawline? And then blending it with my Bobbi Brown foundation brush. And then taking the lighter shades in the kit just to kind of emphasise that contour. Now taking this brush, I think it's from a brand called Japanesque. And I think it's their mineral concealer brush, if that's the right name. This brush is perfect for contouring your nose. It's the perfect shape. Now just going over and setting any of that cream product using the same sculpt shade I used on my eyes earlier. In the crease of my eye. Again, quite a nice cool shade, so it doesn't look too orangey. Now taking my first highlighter, this is the cream colour base in the shade Pearl, which I use all the time. I'm just blending it with my finger. Putting it in my cupid's bow as well, along my brows, centre of my forehead. And taking a bronzer, this is the Bobbi Brown one, kind of running this a bit all over, the nice bronzy effect. So I did sort of mix these two blushes together, but I use mainly Spring Sheen by MAC to give a nice peachy flush look and taking the Laura Mercier Shimmer Block highlighter in the shade I think peach peach something run at this just over anywhere that I've put that cream highlighter earlier and then doing it just to emphasize that inner corner highlighter as well literally just putting loads of it on just go for it and taking MAC Fix Plus Spray just before I do my lips, just spraying it all over to give a nice dewy look. Now just popping on a lip primer, this is the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. And going in with my liner which is the Laura Mercier Praline Liner. I think this might be sold out or discontinued, so the most similar one to this would be Oak or Strip Down from MAC. And taking Flesh Pot from MAC, kind of just like pressing this all over. Now in the picture she had, looked like she had really glossy lips, so I'm going over with NARS Strip Tease Lip Gloss. And final touches using the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzing Spray. Kind of spraying this all over just to look even more bronzy like I've been in the sun. Spraying it on my neck as well. And then just going over and popping some more mascara on my bottom and top lashes. And this is the finished look. I really hope you like it. I'm still so in love with these Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I haven't got over it yet. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to be notified of when I post my next video. Please follow me on Instagram. And I normally post on there when I've done a new tutorial. Um, I'm on Facebook and Twitter and all that. So I'll put that all below in the description box. But thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.